Session 24, February 15th, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator we communicate now. Question. We are a little concerned about the physical condition of the instrument. She has a slight congestion. If you can tell me of the advisability of the session, I would appreciate it. Ra. This instrument's vital energies of the physical complex are low. The session will be appropriately shortened. Question. In the last session, you mentioned that in the last 25,000-year cycle, the Atlanteans, Egyptians, and those in South America were contacted and then the Confederation departed. I understand that the Confederation did not come back for some time. Could you tell me of the reasons, consequence, and attitudes with respect to the next contact with those here on planet Earth? Ra, in case of the Atlanteans, enlargements upon the information given resulted in those activities distorted towards bellicosity, which result in the final second Atlantean catastrophe, 10,821 of your years in the past as you measure it. Many, many were displaced due to societal action both upon Atlantis and upon those areas of what you would call North African deserts to which some Atlanteans had gone after the first conflict. Earth changes continued due to these, what you would call nuclear bombs and other crystal weapons, sinking the last great land masses approximately 9,600 of your years ago. In the Egyptian and South American experiment results, though not as widely devastating, were as far from the original intention of the Confederation. It was clear to not only us, but also to the Council of the Guardians, that our methods were not appropriate for this particular sphere. Our attitude thus was one of caution, observation, and continuing attempt to creatively discover methods whereby contact from our other entities could be of service, with the least distortion, above all, with the least possibility of becoming perversions or antithesis of our intention in sharing information. Thank you. Then I assume that the Confederation stayed away from Earth for a period of time. What condition created the next contact that the Confederation made? Ra, in approximately 3,600 of your years in the past, as you measure time, there was an influx of those of the Orion group, as you call them. Due to the increasingly negative influences upon thinking and acting distortions, they were able to begin working with those whose impressions from olden times, as you may say, was that they were special and different. An entity of the Confederation, many, many thousands of your years in the past, the one you may call Yahweh, had, by genetic cloning, set up these particular biases among these people who had come gradually to dwell in the vicinity of Egypt, as well as in many, many other places by dispersion after the down-sinking of the land mass Mu. Here the Orion group found fertile soil in which to plant the seeds of negativity, these seeds as always being those of the elite, the different, those who manipulate or enslave others. The one known as Yahweh felt a great responsibility to these entities. However, the Orion group had been able to impress upon these people the name Yahweh as the one responsible for this elitism. Yahweh then was able to take what you would call stock of its vibratory vib patterns and became, in effect, a more eloquently effective sound vibration complex. In this complex, the old Yahweh, now unnamed, but meaning he comes, began to send positively oriented philosophy. This was approximately in your past of 3,300 years. Thus, the intense portion of what has become known as Armageddon was joined. Question. How did the Orion group get through the quarantine 3,600 years ago? The random window effect? Ra, at that time this was not entirely so, so there was a proper calling for this information. When there is a mixed calling, the window effect is much more put into motion by the ways of the densities. The quarantine in this case was, shall we say, not patrolled so closely, due to the lack of strong polarity, the windows thus needing to be very weak in order for penetration. As your harvest approaches, those forces of what you would call light work according to their call. The ones of Orion have the working only according to their call. This calling is in actuality not nearly as great. Thus, due to the way of empowering or squares, there is much resistance to penetration. Yet free will must be maintained, and these desiring negatively oriented information, as you would call it, must then be satisfied by those moving through by the window effect. Question. Then Yahweh, in an attempt to correct what I might call a mistake, I know you don't want to call it that, started 3,300 years ago a positive philosophy. 
Were the Orion and Yahweh philosophies impressed telepathically, or were there other techniques used? Ra, there were two other techniques used, one by the entity no longer called Yahweh, who still felt that it could raise up entities which were superior to negative forces, that these superior entities could spread the law of one. Thus this entity, yod He shin va ha came among your people in a form according to incarnate being, and made it in the normal reproductive manner of your physical complexes, thus birthing a generation of much larger beings, these beings called Anak. The other method used to greater effect later in the scenario, as you would call it, was the thought form, such as we often use among your people, to suggest the mysterious or the sublime. You may be familiar with some of the appearances. Question. Could you state some of these? Ra, this is information which you may discover. However, we will briefly point the way by indicating the so-called wheel within a wheel and the cherubim with sleepless eye. Question. Did the Orion group use similar methods for their impression 3,600 years ago? Ra, the group or imba, empire had an emissary in your skies at that time. Question. Can you describe that emissary? Ra, this emissary, emissary was of your fiery nature, which was hidden by the nature of clouds in the day. This was to obliterate the question of those seeing such a vehicle and to make it consonant with the entity's concepts of what you may call the Creator. Question. And then how was the information passed on to the entities after they saw this fiery cloud? Ra. By thought transfer and by causing of fiery phenomena and other events to appear as being miraculous through the use of thought forms. Question. Then are there any prophets that sprang from this era or soon after that was recorded? Ra. Those of the empire were not successful in maintaining their presence for long after the approximate three zero 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 date in your history and were pre-force left with the decision to physically leave the skies. The so-called prophets were often given mixed information, but the worst that of the Orion group could do was to cause these prophets to speak of doom, as prophecy in those days was the occupation of those who loved their fellow being and who wished to be of service to them and to the Creator. Question. Are you saying that the Orion group was successful in polluting some of the positively oriented prophets' messages with prophecies of doom? Ra, this is correct. Your next query shall be the last full query for this session. Question. Could you tell me why the Orion group had to leave after what figures to be 600-year period? Ra. Although the impression that they had given to those who called them was that these entities weren't a leave group, that which you know as diaspora, occurred, causing much dispersion of these people, so that they became a humbler and more honorable breed, less bellicose and more aware of the loving kindness of the one creator. The creation about them tended towards being somewhat bellicose, somewhat oriented towards the enslavement of others, but they themselves, the target of the Orion group, by means of their genetic superiority weakness, became what you may call the underdogs, thereby letting the fiend of gratitude for their neighbors, their family, and their one creator begin to heal the feeling of elitism, which led to the distortions of power over others, which had caused their own bellicosity. Any short queries may be asked now. Question. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Ra, you are conscientious. Be careful to adjust this instrument's upper appendage if its upper body is elevated. I am Ra, all is well. It is our joy to speak with you. We leave in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 25, February 16, 1981. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator we communicate now. Question. We shall now continue with the material from yesterday. You stated that about 3,000 years ago the Orion group left due diaspora, was the Confederation then able to make any progress after the Orion Group left? Ra, for many of your centuries, both the Confederation and the Orion Confederation busied themselves with each other upon planes above your own, shall we say, planes in time-space, whereby machinations were conceived and the armor of light girded. Battles have been or continue to be fought upon these levels. Upon the earth plane, energies have been set in motion which did not cause a great deal of call. 
there was isolated instances of calling, one such taking place beginning approximately 2,600 of your years in the past in what you call Greece at this time, and resulting in writing and understanding of some facets of the Law of One. We especially note that one known as Thales and the one known as Heraclitus, thus being of the philosopher career, as you may call it, teaching their students. We also point out the understanding of the one known as Pericles. At this time, there was a limited amount of visionary information which the Confederation was allowed to telepathically impress. However, for the most part, during this time, empires died and rose according to the attitude and energies set in motion long ago, not resulting in strong polarization, but rather in the mixture of the positive and the warlike or negative, which has been characteristic of this final minor cycle of your beingness. Question. You spoke of an Orion Confederation and of a battle being fought between the Confederation and the Orion Confederation. Is it possible to convey any concept of how this battle is fought? Ra, picture, if you will, your mind. Picture it then in total unity with all other minds of your society. You are then single-minded, and that which is weak electrical charge in your physical illusion is now an enormously powerful machine whereby thoughts may be projected as things. In this endeavor, the Orion group charges or attacks the Confederation armed with light. The result, a standoff as you would call it, both energies being somewhat depleted by this and needing to regroup. The negative depleted through failure to manipulate, the positive depleted through failure to accept that which is given. Question. Could you amplify the meaning of what you mean by the failure to accept that which is given? Ra. At the level of time-space at which this takes place in the form of what you may call thought-war, the most accepting and loving energy would be to so love those who wish to manipulate that those entities were surrounded and engulfed, transformed by positive energies. This, however, being a battle of equals, the Confederation is aware that it cannot, on equal footing, allow itself to be manipulated in order to remain purely positive, for then, though pure it would not be on any consequence, having been placed by the so-called powers of darkness under the heel, as you may say. It is thus that those who deal with this thought war must be defensive rather than accepting in order to preserve their usefulness and service to others. Thusly, they cannot accept fully what the Orion Confederation wishes to give, that being enslavement. Thusly, some polarity is lost due to this friction on both sides, if you will, must then regroup. It has not been fruitful for either side. The only consequence which has been helpful is a balancing of the energies available to this planet, so that these energies have less necessity to be balanced in this space-time, thus lessening the chance of planetary annihilation. Question. Does a portion of the Confederation then engage in this thought battle? What percent engage? Ra, this is the most difficult work of the Confederation. Only four planetary entities at one time are asked to partake in this conflict. Question. What densities are these four planetary entities? Ra. These entities are the density of love, numbering four. Question. Would an entity of this density be more effective for this work than an entity of density five or six? Ra. The fourth density is the only density besides your own which, lacking the wisdom to refrain from battle, sees the necessity of a battle. Thus it is necessary that fourth density social memory complex be used. Question. Am I correct in assuming that both the Confederation and the Orion Group utilize only their fourth densities in this battle, and that the fifth and sixth densities of the Orion Group do not engage in this? Ra. This will be the last full question as this entity's energies are low. It is partially correct. Fifth and sixth density entities, positive, would not take part in this battle. Fifth density negativity would not take part in this battle. Thus, the fourth density of both orientations join in this conflict. May we ask for a short question before we close? I will ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. I would also really like to know the orientation of the fifth density negative for not participating in this battle. Ra, the fifth density is the density of light or wisdom. The so-called negative service to self-entity in this density is at a high level of awareness and wisdom, and has ceased activity except by thought. 
The fifth density negative is extraordinarily compacted and separated from all else. Question. Thank you very much. We do not wish to deplete the instrument. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Ra. As requested previously, it would be well to observe the angles taken by a more upright posture of the entity. It is causing some nerve blockage in the portion of the body complex called the elbows. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth then rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 26, February 17, 1981 I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator I communicate now. Question. Is any of the changing that we have done here going to affect communication with the instrument in any way? Is what we have set up all right? Ra, this is correct. Question. Do you mean that everything is satisfactory for continued communication? Ra, we meant that the change affect this communication. Question. Should we discontinue communication because of these changes, or should we continue? Ra, you may do as you wish. However, we would be unable to use this instrument at this space-time nexus without these modifications. Question. Assuming that it is all right to continue, we're down to the last 3,000 years of this present cycle. And I was wondering if the law of one, in its written or spoken form, has been made available within this last 3,000 years in any complete way, such as we are doing now. Is it available in any other source? Ra. There is no possibility of a complete source of information of the Law of One in this density. However, certain of your writings passed on to you as your so-called holy works have portions of this law. Question. Does the Bible that we know have portions of this law in it? Ra, this is correct. Can you tell me if any of the Old Testament has any of the Law of One? Ra, this is correct. Question. Which has more of the Law of One in it, the Old Testament or the New Testament? Ra, withdrawing from each of the collections of which you speak, the portions having to do with the Law of One, the content is approximately equal. However, the so-called Old Testament has a larger amount of negativity, influence material, as you would call it. Question, can you tell me about what percentage is of Orion influence in both the Old and New Testament? Ra, we prefer that this be left to the discretion of those who seek the Law of One. We are not speaking in order to judge. Such statements would be construed by some of those who may read this material as judgmental. We can only suggest a careful reading and inward digestion of the content. The understanding will become obvious. Question. Thank you. Have you communicated with any other population in the third density incarnate state in recent times? Ra. Please restate, specify in recent times, and the pronoun you. Question. Has Ra communicated with any of our population in this century, in the last, say, 80 years? Ra, we have not. Question. Has the Law of One been communicated in the last 80 years by any other source to an entity in our population? Ra, the ways of One have seldom been communicated, although there are rare instances in the previous 80 of your years as you measure them. There have been many communications from fourth density due to the drawing towards the harvest of fourth density. These are the ways of universal love and understanding. The other teachings are reserved for those whose depth of understanding, if you'll excuse this misnomer, recommend and attract such further communication. Qu question. Then did the Confederation step up its program of helping planet Earth sometime late in this last major cycle? It seems that they did from previous data, especially with the Industrial Revolution. Can you tell me the attitudes and the reasoning behind this? Is there any reason other than they just wanted to produce more leisure time in the last, say, 100 years of the cycle? Is this the total reason? Raw, this is not the total reason. Approximately 200 of your years in the past, as you measure time, there began to be a significant amount of entities who by seniority were incarnating for learned teaching purposes rather than the lesser of the learned teachings of those less aware of the process. This was our signal to enable communications to take place. The wanders which came among you began to make themselves felt at approximately this time, firstly offering ideas of thoughts containing the distortions of free will. This was the prerequisite for further wanders which had information on the more specific nature to offer. The thought must precede the action. Question. I was wondering if the one Abraham Lincoln could have been a wanderer. Ra, 
This is incorrect. This entity was a normal, shall we say, earth being who chose to leave the vehicle and allow an entity to use it on a permanent basis. This is relatively rare compared to the phenomenon of wanders. You would do better considering the incarnation of wander, such as the one known as Thomas, the one known as Benjamin. Question. I am assuming that you mean Thomas Edison and Benjamin Franklin. Ra, this is incorrect. We were intending to convey the sound vibration complex Thomas Jefferson, the other correct. Thank you. Can you tell me where the entity who used Abraham Lincoln's body, what density he came from and where? Ra, this entity was fourth vibration. Question, I assume positive. Ra, this is correct. Question, was his assassination in any way influenced by Orion or any other negative force? Ra, this is correct. Question, thank you. In the recent past of the last 30 to 40 years, the UFO phenomena have become known to our population. What was the original reason for the increase of what we call UFO activity in the past 40 years? Ra, information which Confederation sources had offered to your entity, Albert Einstein, became perverted and instruments of destruction began to be created, examples of this being the Manhattan Project and its product. Information offered through Wander Sound Vibration Nikola also was experimented with for potential destruction, example your so-called Philadelphia experiment. Thus we felt a strong need to involve our thought forms in whatever way we of the Confederation could be of service in order to balance these distortions of information meant to aid your planetary sphere. Question. Then what you did, I am assuming, is to create an air of mystery with the UFO phenomena as we call it, and then by telepathy send many messages which could be accepted or rejected under the law of one, so that the population would start thinking seriously about the consequence of what it was doing. Is this correct? Ra, this is partially correct. There are other services we may perform. Firstly, the integration of souls or spirits, if you will, in the event of the use of these nuclear devices in your space-time continuum. This the Confederation has already done. Question. I don't fully understand what you mean by that. Could you expand on that a little bit? Ra. The use of intelligent energy transforming matter into energy is of such a nature among these weapons that the transition from space-time third density to time-space third density or what you may call your heaven worlds, is interrupted in many cases. Therefore, we are offering ourselves as those who continue the integration of the soul or spirit complex during transitions from space-time to time-space. Question. Could you give us an example from Hiroshima or Nagasaki of how this is done? Ra. Those who were destroyed, not by radiation but by the trauma of the energy release, found not only the body-mind-spirit complex made unviable, but also a disarrangement of that unique vibratory complex you have called a spirit complex, which we understand as a mind-body-spirit complex, to be completely disarranged without possibility of reintegration. This would be the loss to the creator of part of the creator, and thus we were given permission, not to stop the events, but to ensure the survival of the, shall we say, disembodied mind-body-spirit complex. This we did in those events which you mention, losing no spirit or portion or holograph or microcosm of the macrocosmic infinite one. Question. Could you tell me just vaguely how you accomplished this? Ra, this is accomplished through our understanding of dimensional fields of energy. The higher or more dense energy field will control the less dense. Question. Then you are saying that, in general, you will allow the population of this planet to have a nuclear war and many deaths from that war, but you will be able to create a condition where these deaths will be no more traumatic than entrance to what we call the heaven worlds or the astral world due to death by a bullet or by a normal means of dying old age. Is this correct? Ra, this is incorrect. It would be more traumatic, however, the entity would remain an entity. Question. Can you tell me the conditions of the entities who were killed in Nagasaki and Hiroshima at this time? Ra, they of this trauma have not yet fully begun the healing process. They are being helped as much as possible. Question, when the healing process is complete with these entities, will this experience of death due to nuclear bomb cause them to be regressed in their climb towards fourth density? 
Ra, such actions as nuclear destruction affect the entire planet. There are no differences at this level of destruction, and the planet will need to be healed. Question. I was thinking specifically if an entity was in the Hiroshima or Nagasaki at that time, and he was reaching harvestability at the end of our cycle. Would this death by nuclear bomb create such trauma that he would not be harvestable at the end of the cycle? Ra, this is incorrect. Once the healing has taken place, the harvest may go forth unimpeded. However, the entire planet will undergo healing for this action, no distinction being made betwixt victim and aggressor, this due to damage done to the planet. Question. Can you describe the mechanism of the planetary healing? Ra. Healing is a process of acceptance, forgiveness, and of possible restitution. The restitution not being available in time-space, there are many among your people now attempting restitution while in the physical. Question. How do these people attempt this restitution in the physical? Ra. These attempt feelings of love towards the planetary sphere and comfort and healing of the scars and imbalances of these questions. Question. Then as the UFO phenomena was made obvious to many of the population, many groups of people were reporting contact and telepathic contact with UFO entities and recorded the results of what they considered telepathic communication. Was the Confederation oriented to impressing telepathic communication on groups that were interested in UFOs? Ra, this is correct, although some of our members have removed themselves from the time-space, using thought-form projections into your space-time, and have chosen from time to time, with permission of the Council, to appear in your skies without landing. Question. Then are all of the landings that have occurred, with the exception of the landing that occurred when blank was contacted, of the Orion group or similar groups? Ra, Except for isolated instances, those of, shall we say, no affiliation, that is correct. Question. Is it necessary in each case of these landings for the entities involved to be calling the Orion Group? Or do some of these entities come in contact with the Orion Group even though they are not calling that group? Ra. You must plumb the depth of fourth density negative understanding. This is difficult for you. Once having reached third density space-time continuum, through your so-called windows. These crusaders may plunder as they will. The result's completely a function of the polarity of the, shall we say, witness, subject, or victim. This is due to the sincere belief of fourth density, negative, that to love self is to love all. Each other self, which is thus either taught or enslaved, thus has a teacher which teaches love or self. Exposed to this teaching, it is intended there to be brought to fruition a harvest of fourth density negative or self-serving mind-body-spirit complexes. Question. Can you tell me of the various techniques used by the service to others positively oriented confederation contacts with the people of this planet, the various forms and techniques of making contact? Ra, we could. Question. Would you do this, please? Ra, the most efficient mode of contact is that which you experience at this space-time. The infringements upon free will is greatly undesired. Therefore, these entities which are wanders upon your plane of illusion will be the only subject for the thought projections which make up the so-called close encounters and meetings between positively oriented social memory complex and wanders. Question. Could you give me an example of one of these meetings between a social memory complex and a wander as to what the wander would experience? Ra. One such example of which you are familiar with is that of the one known as Morris. In this case, the previous contact, which other entities in this entity's circle of friends experienced, was negatively oriented. However, you will recall that the entity Morris was impervious to this contact and could not see with the physical optical apparatus this contact. However, the inner voice alerted the one known as Morris to go by itself to another place, and there an entity with the thought form shape and appearance of the other contact appeared, and gazed at this entity, thus awakening it in the desire to seek the truth of this occurrence and of the experience of its incarnation in general. The feeling of being awakened or activated is the goal of this type of contact. The duration and imagery used various depending upon the subconscious expectations of the wanderer which is experiencing this opportunity for activation. Question. 
in a close encounter by a confederation type of craft. I am assuming that this close encounter is with a thought form type of craft. Do wanderers within the past few years have close encounters with landed thought form type of craft? Ra, this has occurred, although in much less common, than the Orion type of so-called close encounters. We may note that in a universe of unending unity, the concept of a close encounter is humorous, for all not all encounters of nature of self with self. Therefore, how can any encounter be less than very, very close? Question. While well, taking about this type of encounter of self to self, do any wanders of a positive polarization ever have a so-called close encounter with the Orion or negatively oriented polarization? Ra, this is correct. Question, why does this occur? Ra, when it occurs, it is quite rare and occurs either due to the Orion entity's lack of perception of the depth of positivity to be encountered or due to the Orion entity's desire to, shall we say, attempt to remove this positivity from this plane of existence. Orion tactics normally are those which choose the simple distortions of mind, which indicate less mental and spiritual complex activity. Question. I have become aware of a very large variation in the contact with individuals. Could you give me general examples of the methods used by the Confederation to awaken or partially awaken the wanders they contact? Ra. The methods used to awaken wanders are varied. The center of each approach is the entrance into the conscious and subconscious in such a way as to avoid causing fear and to maximize the potential for an understandable, subjective experience which has meaning for the entity. Many such occur in sleep, others in the midst of many activities during the waking hours. The approach is flexible and does not necessarily include the close encounter syndrome, as you are aware. Question. What about the physical examination syndrome? How does that relate to the wanders in Confederation and Orion contacts? Ra. The subconscious expectations of entities cause the nature and detail of thought form experience offered by Confederation thought form entities. Thus, if a wanderer expects a physical examination, it will, perforce, be experienced with as little distortion towards alarm or discomfort as is allowable by the nature of the expectation of the subconscious distortion of the wander. Question. Well, are those who have taken on both Confederation and Orion craft then experiencing a seeming physical examination? Ra, your query indicates incorrect thinking. The Orion group uses the physical examination as a means of terrifying the individual and causing it to feel the feelings of an advanced second-density being, such as a laboratory animal. The sexual experiences of some are a subtype of this experience. The intent is to demonstrate the control of the Orion entities over the Terran inhabitant. The thought form experiences are subjective and, for the most part, do not occur in this density. Question. Then both Confederation and Orion contacts are being made, and close encounters are of a dual nature, as I understand it. They can either be of Confederation or of the Orion type of contact. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct, although the preponderance of contact is Orion-oriented. Question. Well, we have a large spectrum of entities on Earth with respect to harvestability, both positively oriented and negatively oriented. Would the Orion group target in on the ends of the spectrum, both positively and negatively oriented, for contact with Earth entities? Ra, this query is somewhat difficult to accurately answer. However, we shall attempt to do so. The most typical approach of Orion entities is to choose what you might call the weaker-minded entity, that it might suggest a greater amount of Orion philosophy to be disseminated. Some few Orion entities are called by more highly polarized negative entities of your space-time nexus. In this case, they share information, just as we are now doing. However, this is a risk for the Orion entities due to the frequency with which the harvestable negative planetary entities then attempt to bid and order the Orion contact, just as these entities bid planetary negative contacts. The resulting struggle for mastery, if lost, is damaging to the polarity of the Orion group. Similarly, a mistaken Orion contact with highly polarized, positive entities can wreak havoc with Orion troops unless these crusaders are able to depolarize the entity mistakenly connected. This occurrence is almost unheard of. Therefore, the Orion group prefers to make physical contact only with the weaker-minded entity. Question. Then in general, we could say 
that if an individual has a close encounter with a UFO or any other type of experience that seems to be UFO related, he must look to the heart of the encounter and the effect upon him to determine whether it was Orion or Confederation. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct. If there is fear and doom, the contact was likely of a negative nature. If the result is hope, friendly feelings, and the awakening of a positive feeling of purposeful service to others, the marks of Confederation contact are evident. Question. Then I am assuming all the groups getting telepathic contact from the Confederation are high-priority targets for the Orion Crusaders, and I would assume that a large percentage of them are having the messages polluted by the Orion group. Could you tell me what percentage of them had their information polluted by the Orion group, and if any of them were able to remain purely a Confederation channel? Ra, to give you this information would be to infringe upon the free will or confusion of some living. We can only ask each group to consider the relative effect of philosophy and your so-called specific information. It is not the specificity of the information which attracts negative influence. It is the importance placed upon it. This is why we iterate quite often, when asked for specific information, that it pales to insignificance, just as the grass withers and dies, while the love and light of the one infinite creator redounds to the very infinite realms of creation forever and ever, creating and creating itself in perpetuity. Why then be concerned with the grass that blooms, withers, and dies in its season, only to grow once again through the infinite love and light of the one creator? This is the message we bring. Each entity is only superficially that which blooms and dies. In the deeper sense, there is no end to beingness. Question. As you have stated, it is a straight and narrow path. There are many distractions. We have created an introduction to the law of one, traveling through and hitting the high points of this 75,000-year cycle. After this introduction, I would like to get directly to the main work, which is an investigation of evolution. I am very appreciative and feel very great honor and privilege to be doing this and hope that we can accomplish this next phase. Ra, I leave you, my friends, in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, merry and glad, rejoicing in the power of the peace of the one creator, Adonai. End of Book One